Hello there. I wanted to talk about a new ebook that I wrote. It's called Newspaper Carrier Job. Now this is book two in the job series where I uh, review different kinds of jobs that I've done and give people a description of what what they're like and the benefits, the cons. And um, most of them are menial labor type jobs that you can do without having to dedicate your life to them. And you can also keep your dignity as a man or a woman. But uh, I've noticed that it's really men that are getting squeezed out of the uh, real the real, you know, jobs that are, that don't make you, let's just say the, the, the service industry is geared towards a feminine type of worker, somebody that is pleasing uh, to, to people, and instead of just somebody that works hard. So basically, it, it's geared towards a woman, and women are, um, finding most of the jobs unless you have a so what, what I'm trying to do here is avoid the government working for the government which I believe is over 50 percent of the employment and then I'm trying to avoid um, being a criminal and then I'm trying to keep my dignity and not you know have to work some job where you continually have to kind of uh, pander to people that really need to be told to to, to lay off and, and to you know mind their manners which doesn't go over very well when you're in a service industry job or sales or something like that some people get out their anger with uh, jobs like bill collector um, but you know I mean that's not really a you know you're working for basically the corporations at that point I mean with with uh, so many jobs being provided by the government you also got to see that the fascist Corporations are also providing, you know, a lot of jobs other than government, but they're basically the government. The government's the only jobs that really pay well, though. The fascist corporations really don't pay well unless you're at the upper echelons of the bureaucracy or management, which um, you can't get there really unless you're Oh, unless you embrace the world system, the beast system. If you if you go into your workplace, for instance, and, and start talking about, you know, the Illuminati and the New World Order and a Bohemian Grove and the satanic um, problem in the world, most employers are going to, or you're not going to fit in most most places of employment and you're not going to rise up in the ranks of a office or something if you're if you have those things on your mind and you talk about them to people or even if you just witness about Jesus Christ to people and say that he's the only way and you know take the biblical stance of uh, you know homosexuality is a sin for instance and that transgenders are you know demonized and perverted likely abused when they were children. These are obvious truths, but nowadays, you, as you know probably, you can't really, um, it's getting into the point where you can't speak that truth because the, um, the ruling elite that are um, creating their new world order are, uh, you know, uh, basically waging war upon Christianity 
with cultural Marxism, social engineering, this kind of thing. So I know that this ebook is just about basically this is about a newspaper carrier job, you know, basically a paper route. Um, as you can tell, it you know it's <laughs> not everybody that has these menial jobs is just a, a lame brain uh, person that doesn't think. So that's the point about having a newspaper job is that you work alone. You work in the er very early morning. It's an independent contractor job, so there's no drug test. I don't do any drugs myself, but... I don't really like the idea of having to take a drug test, considering that most people are on prescription drugs, which are worse than marijuana, let's say. And you don't even, you know, drug tests are easy to pass with other harder drugs because they go out of your system quicker. So they're just the drug test is basically just a control thing. But you have to pay taxes at the end of the year because you're an independent contractor. Uh, you use your own vehicle. You know, the times of delivery are flexible. The routes are so large now because they're condensed that you can get basically a full-time wage, menial labor wage, you know, minimum wage uh, income. So, you know, you can, you can paint houses full-time and make about the same as you you would having a newspaper carrier job which is ridiculous but that's how the that's how it is nowadays it's if you find a job where you make oh a couple dollars above minimum wage you're supposed to jump up and down and you know clap your hands like thinking you got it made but the thing is is like that doesn't solve the problem now, I do want to clarify that it's not the employers especially, but it's more like the living expenses and the um, repression that the uh, fascist government is putting upon private industry to make, you know, make it hard for them to pay you a living wage. And then they manipulate the living expenses with their control of the urbanization and the, the uh, decrease in rural, rural settings. Uh, because they can't control us as well in the country. Well, all these factors, you know, are uh, coming down upon uh, the family unit. And the men are, uh, in my generation, the X generation, are having a really hard time uh, providing for themselves, much less their family. And there's so many broken families and uh, children out of wedlock that, the child support's adding up and all these bills and just it gets ugly when you're you know about a, about five six seven ten years into it and uh, really it'll take you ten years twenty years just to get back to even if you ever do and what are you supposed to do for work you know there's a lot of people that are um, selling drugs or you know doing nefarious criminal things to get by. Uh, and, but what about just honest people that are trying to uh, do good things in the world? I mean, try to make the, their community a more positive place. Try to be honest and, you know, get something more out of their job than just a paycheck. Uh, and they have you know, thoughts that are beyond just the mainstream satanic culture that they can't really express around the, the mind-numb zombies, the brainwashed masses, without some repercussion. So this is a job that I would suggest to people like that, people like me. Um, I've had newspaper carrier jobs, about six of them, and I would, I, I would recommend them overall as a way to maintain um, until you can figure out something better. But, uh, you know, it doesn't pay a lot 
I mean, you need, you're basically going to make around, you know, 700 to 1200 a month, you know, after your expenses. You'll work about 25, 30 hours a week. Uh, but, you know, you're really, that's the way it is nowadays, unless, unless you go to their cultural, occult initiation things called college, and then you go ahead and embrace the the beast culture, and, and you're you're well enough brainwashed into their propaganda, so you can go get some job that requires a degree. Now, there's still trade schools, and you know, getting your CDL and, and different options, maybe an entrepreneur of sorts that you can work towards. But getting a newspaper carrier job is a good transition considering they're fairly easy to get because there's such a high turnover rate because it's pretty much everyday job unless you can find somebody to help you and it's early in the morning so if you want the job you can get one and they're pretty much in every city in the country and the world that has a newspaper so Newspaper carrier job is not just for the kid on the bicycle anymore. It's actually not for him at all anymore. It's it's for somebody with a car and who is willing to uh, go out into the city in the middle middle of the night, basically, and, and deal with all kinds of uh, kind of spooky things. Uh, but you know, it's a way for you to have some peace in your job. You don't have to deal with coworkers or a boss really and you, you can do you can remain in your dignity you don't have to deal with customer service and all of this kind of stuff so you can listen like me I listen to uh, talk shows you know from my mp3 player and in Christian uh, news and broadcasts like the Hagman and Hagman report and such so uh, newspaper carrier job ebook is 99 cents. Uh, the first j book in this series was called The Modern Slaves in America. Um, kind of goes, kind of talks about what I what I went through here a little bit. But if you're interested in this kind of job, you're looking for ideas to make a thousand a month or something maybe even 1200 then check the book out maybe it'll help you understand what you're getting into and look for the next job because I've had about uh, I've had about 35 different jobs um, some of them are the same type of job so I've probably had a, at least a couple dozen of different different kinds of jobs that I'm going to review so keep uh, you know whatever uh, follow me as an author or whatever on Amazon alright well I hope it blesses you and you know hope that it informs you as well so keep your head up and remember you're, you're rich in Jesus Christ